Hi everybody, my name is Chris Kukla and I am the composer and sound designer for Barony. Thank you so much for checking out our Kickstarter. I'm super pumped to bring Barony to Switch, play it on the road and play it with more friends. So today I'm just going to give a quick walkthrough of one of the tracks I created, some music for Barony. The shop theme in particular, music that folks have mentioned on Steam and in person and I really appreciate all the feedback that I've gotten over the years. So let's dive right in and we'll take a quick look at what I did to create the track. So here we are in Ableton 10, which is my digital audio workstation of choice. And getting this track open was actually an interesting process because it was written in 2014, such a long time ago. It's really cool to see that uh, the game and by that virtue the music has endured for so long. So um, for those of you who don't know music or audio, I'll try to keep it quick and not that nerdy, but everything that you're seeing here is what we call MIDI, and this is just note data, right? And so we have D1, which would be like a note that you would see on a piano, and that triggers an instrument in Reason. I used Reason 5 for all of the music in Barony, exclusively actually the NNXT sampler instrument. This instrument was built modeling old hardware samplers uh, when folks figured out, oh, we can kind of like take the essence of a sound, record it, make it kind of small, put it into a box with our limited whatever RAM they had back then or uh, any other sort of memory and make it playable on a digital interface. And so this is a facsimile of that. And you can see here we have tambourines and drum, claves and blocks, cowbells. This is uh, all organized by function, really. Like So this is all percussion at top. Pianos, mandolins, accordions, more percussion. So I guess it's not that organized. Guitar, vibraphone, glockenspiel, and saz. I actually, I don't know what that instrument is, but it's got a interesting sound. So a very eclectic collection of instrumentation here. And that was because I wanted to do something a little bit more non-Western for the shop theme. Keep it, it's it's really hard to, to, to put into words because music is, is so subjective and, and nebulous, right? It just really exists in our heads in a way, but there, there's a little bit of mystery to it. So while I'm talking, we can just like make a little loop here. And oh, and actually before, before I start playing for you all, this is one track that is a little bit of an anomaly because you can see here there's just like mostly note data and this is the one track that actually uses an audio sample which we could listen to right here which is a little cash register sample which functions as a percussive instrument so if we take a listen on solo that we have a shop theme here and all of this note data is triggering our instrument in reason and speaking of mystery, I was going through this track and it's this is really fresh for me because like I said, 2014. And to this air of mystery, we're definitely in the key of C major, but we're using this concept called modal mixing or uh, borrowed chords, wherein C major, if you play all the white keys on the piano, you have a C major scale and all of those notes are constituent to chords you would have in the key of C major. But D sharp and A sharp that we see here are not, they're, they're black keys. So what we're functionally doing in terms of music theory is borrowing chords from the C minor scale and throwing them in there and it just happens to work and sound nice, but it still sounds like it's a little bit unexpected. You get this a lot in um, superhero music for like movies of all things, because it has this lifting, shifting quality is, is how I would put it there are definitely different ways to explain it but you hear that in what we're listening to right now and this mandolin also uses this you can see that you can see in the piano roll in ableton that these rows for notes that are darker are, would be black keys on the piano but the thing is is when we come over to this section here it does resolve to c major actually this is a better example because there's more melody and it sounds, you know, a lot more happy. And it sounds like we're at home, right? Is, is the way that we would put it. it. Sounds final. 
But then if we go back into this, let's call it the verse. The mood shifts a lot. And from a th theoretical standpoint, not quite sure where home is. I mean, it sounds more C minor-ish, I guess, if you were going to say anything. So yeah, that's my quick walkthrough. Um, if anybody is really interested in a more in-depth thing, I'm trying to keep things accessible and not too nerdy. I would be super glad to go through any track. Just throw a request in the comments. Again, thank you very much for checking out our Kickstarter. Um, I'm pumped to let's play together, right? <laughs> Have a wonderful day, and I'm looking forward to reading the comments.